All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is an eversion sprain. Now this, as opposed to the inversion ankle sprain, which is the one that happens the most common, the eversion sprain is very, very uncommon. Um, probably not something that the weekend warrior is gonna have to deal with. I played seven years of pro football, never had an eversion sprain, but if you do happen to get one, um, obviously it's just the opposite of inversion. It's gonna be one where you, the, the, the ankle, the surface of the foot actually rolls out, so you're gonna be rolling in on the ankle. Um, you sprain in the inside part of the ankle ligament there. Um, again, as opposed to the inversion sprain, the eversion, you're not gonna get much swelling. The inversion is gonna be when it swells up like a grapefruit. This eversion sprain that we're talking about, not a lot of swelling. All the pain is gonna be on the inside of the ankle, but the treatment's uh, very similar to what we did on the inversion. Um, Brian will explain here what we're gonna do to uh, treat this sprain. Okay, the eversion ankle sprain, the, the ligament that's uh, insulted and sprained is the deltoid ligament. And the reason it doesn't happen very often is uh, there's a lot more movement capability in inversion, which was the last one we discussed, than there is in eversion. Also, the deltoid ligament is a very, very big ligament uh, in respect to the, uh, uh, the anterior talofibular ligament that we talked about in inversion. All right, now, when you if you come across an eversion e ankle sprain, uh, it will be just the exact opposite type of treatment. Uh, when in the inversion sprain, we talked about the peroneals. Well, on an eversion ankle sprain, it's going to be the intrinsic or the uh, uh, the long tendon muscles that come around the medial malleolus. So it would be your uh, your uh, tibialis posterior flexor digitorum. It's going to be these muscles that will run behind the medial malleolus. So from a treatment perspective, it would be very much the opposite of what we just did for an inversion ankle sprain. You can just grab these muscles, come down off the tibia, and you'll, you'll find a little shelf. You can drop right off the, side, the bottom of that shelf and just press in and then have them move their foot. You're going to know this right away because... Um, when you actually have one of these injuries, those muscles really do spasm. So you're not going to have to really uh, search around too long before you find it. And, and literally, like, like Brian said, you come right off the tibia and you start grabbing and, and poking around, you're going to feel pain in there, and that's the muscle that spasm. You know you're in the right spot. Right. Exactly. That's, that's, a, that's a really good point. What you're looking for is discomfort. Anytime you press into a muscle and there's discomfort or it's hard, uh, you know that there's some type of uh, dysfunction in that specific area. So that's a good place to start. So you can, you can move around in here. Just ask Jimmy to let you know if there's one spot in particular that really, really feels like it's a little bit hotter than the rest. And that may be a, a spot that you want to you wanna find. All right, Then you can come a little bit above it and a little bit below it and just free things up. One thing we didn't talk about on the inversion sprain um, that I want to address here is one of the most important things with ankle injuries is just the movement aspect of it. Um, just, you know, a lot of times you'll hear a doctor have you do like your ABCs, literally just tracing the alphabet with your toes and get that, that movement going. A lot of times that's going to uh, free up the joint a little bit, get the blood flow going, um, and just in, another important aspect to actually, um, you know, getting the thing to calm down, which is really what you want, get the inflammation out of there as soon as possible. Right, and, and you can do the same thing in an eBay eversion ankle sprain also. So it's it's not just uh, one of those things that you're going to tie into with an inversion ankle sprain. Any ankle sprains, this is, uh, this is a good course of rehab.